Cool, Mr. Ed and... Mona. Miss Mona, <laughs> Queen B. And today is May the 7th, uh, 2023. And it's Sunday evening, afternoon, five, it's right around 5.30. In fact, y'all probably hear the church bell uh, ringing. I'm, I'm taking a playbook right out of Ian Stepler's um, <laughs> videos. You know, yeah. Ian's always walking around in the snow with his cap on, all happy face drinking his coffee. Well, I'm going to have Mona with me for this one. But this is exactly a, a Ian video. And what I want to do is show you, just like Ian shows us, what's going on in his world. So when I got home yesterday afternoon here to the Abbey, this is what I saw. It was like a mini tornado or something we had terrible winds at least that's what the bunk said oh see i told you the church bells were gonna ring so it was like a mini tornado or something but some really really bad bad weather came through and it was pretty much only here in this area of the alley because this was this was the one where the most debris was in fact but if i pan around you can see uh, some limbs down over there. Uh, yeah, there's some across the street over here. And this is what I saw when I came in. And, and I was like shocked. And I saw Brother Brian. And that's when he told me that, that this has happened. And it didn't click to me right away. But this is the second part of the sad story of what's going on right now. And to fill you in on that, I'm gonna to have to walk a little bit down the road and give you a show of what's going on. So the last four weeks, three or four weeks, Mike Barry and I, that's world famous Mike Barry, he and I have been talking a lot about what's going on um, in our environment, uh, around our, our where we live. And for right now, uh, as we're getting ready to, to get our nectar flow coming on, our primary nectar comes from privet and from tallow. And at this time of year, the privet is going down. Well, the privet really never happened uh, this much this year. Uh, let me show you. Here's a, a, an example. Here's an example of some privet that's just about all played out right there. And our privet, unfortunately, didn't prove to be a nectar flow for us. So our bees, consequently, have been in a decline, at least a decline in not bringing any stores of food in. And since the bees aren't bringing in any food, our boxes are like super light. I mean, normally I'd have my, my honey supers on right now. And right now, my second brood boxes, they're light as can be. So as, as I'm really concerned even if I'm going to have a honey harvest at this point I'm hoping I don't even have to feed the bees during the winter to get them through winter nectar well three weeks ago we had a freak freeze and look what happened to our tallow here's here's our tallow bushes right here and well those are our blackberries and we did get some blackberry uh, flowers this year so that was good but this is what happened when that freeze came. It burned all the new growth that was coming out of the tallows right now. And all this growth that you see right here, this is all secondary growth. And we should actually have the tassels full bloom almost right now. And you can see the condition of this tallow tree with all the burnt edges on it. And this is very typical of what's going on. Well, so we have the freeze issue going on. And yesterday, when I came and I walked this road, look at what I see now. All this that you see right here, these are all the tassels that were on the tallow trees that managed to make it, but that little wind or whatever <laughs> has blown all of this stuff off. 
So now we have no privet nectar and I'm really starting to worry, are we even gonna have a tallow flow as well? And look at, look at all the tassels on the road right here. The, the one thing that I'm hopeful for is that it was just right here in this area right here by the abbey and that in the back where it's almost all tallow back there that it didn't go back there. All right, so that's the bad news with the tallow and, and the uh, little windstorm. But I got one other piece of bad news <laughs> that I have to show to you real quick. And here is the second bad part. <laughs> so about two weeks ago, I went in here just to see how the bees are doing. And this is what I find. The bees had absconded. Our queen, which I never caught and captured, which is why I like to capture them, she flew the coop and took all them bees with her. So my laying hive that I had such high hopes for right now is empty. No. But the good news is that um, Charlie and I got a cutout to do uh, up in a meat and it's a seven foot cutout so we'll get some more bees so yeah this was a real disappointment another <laughs> real disappointment and we'll move ahead with this one just like we'll move ahead with the flow or no flow but either way it's all in God's hands and I trust in God all right, well, I have to thank Ian for giving me the inspiration on making this video. <laughs> uh, and Ian does a lot of positive stuff on his stuff. I, I, this one is just, I'm bummed out about everything I see. Moon is checking out all the donkeys and the goats right here. Let's see, where are they? There they are. They're right behind us. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> so, oh, baby. <laughs> so that's all we got for you on this one. So. What do we say, Mona? Thanks for watching. Keep on watching. We'll be making more. God bless, Mr. Ed and Mona. We're out of here until the next video. Bye. <laughs> well, here's some good news. I'm about two miles away from the Abbey. And look at this tallow tree. Man, it is loaded, loaded with tassels in full bloom. In full bloom once you get that gold looking color on them. And this is what all of our towels around the Abbey should be looking at right now. They should look just like this, but instead they're all burnt. Mm-mm-mm.